Hello and welcome to each and of you to this new episode of Online Lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we are going to act uh, pseudocode part 2, assigning value to a variable or constant. Assigning a value to a variable or constant, uh, a variable or constant can be given, assign a value, by making use of the arrow symbol. For example, assign the value 95 to the variable num. So this is done as follows. Num, arrow symbol, 95. The second part, assign the, the value 0 0.15, the constant vat. So it's done as follows. VAT, arrow symbol, 0 0.15. And lastly, we are going to assign the value Richards to the variable surname. And um, this is done as follows: surname, arrow symbol, Richard. Now, as you can see, uh, values which are numbers can be assigned directly to variables. However, anything that is consist of characters or textual nature, it should be written between double quotes. So let's uh, work with an example performing calculation using pseudocode. So write a program using pseudocode that will input two numbers, calculate the sum, and output the sum of those numbers. Now we're going to make use of a uh, lesson that we have explained earlier, pseudocode part one, input and output. So as you see in the question, it's broken down into three parts. We have to firstly input two numbers. Secondly, calculate the sum of the numbers and lastly output the sum of those numbers. So first thing first we're going to input the two numbers and this is done as follows input num1 num2. Second thing that we're going to do we're going to calculate the sum the sum will be equal to num1 plus num2 the sum, the value of num1 and num2 is assigned to the variable sum, as indicated by the arrow symbol. And lastly, we're going to output the sum, so the sum will be outputted at the end of our pseudocode. Output sum. Now, in this question, we have seen a new thing, which is the plus symbol. Now, the plus symbol form parts of the arithmetic operators that are used in pseudocode. The following symbols are used to represent arithmetic operations in pseudocode. We have the plus, that is addition, adds values on either side of the operator. The minus symbol, subtraction, subtract the right-hand operand from the left-hand operand, that is, subtract y from x. The next symbol is a star, used for multiplication, so it multiplies a value on either side of the operator. The next one is a slash for division. Divide the left operand by the right operand, x divided by y. And lastly, we have the percentage symbol. This is known as a modulus. Now, the modulus is a special operation uh, which will result in the following. Divide the left-hand operand by the right-hand operand and returns the remainder. So for example, if I take 7 modulus 3, I will get remainder 1. The next part is regional operators used in pseudocode. Now, this we are mostly going to use, use in our next pseudocode lesson, part 3, if statement. But it's good to you to know about these for the time being. So the following symbols are used for comparison operation in pseudocode. The return as a true or false based on a comparison result. The relation operators are as follows. We have first is the equal to sign. So double equality means equal. Check if the values of two operands are equal or not. If yes, then condition becomes true. We have the not equal to operation. Exclamation mark equal to. This is not equal to. Check if the two operands are equal or not. If uh, the values are not equal, then condition becomes true. Greater than, check if the value on the left is greater than the value on the right. If yes, condition becomes true. 
lesser than, check if the value on the left is less than the value on the right. If yes, condition becomes true. Greater than or equal, check if the value on the left is greater than or equal to the value on the right. If yes, condition becomes true. And lastly, less than or equal, check if the value of the upper uh, of the left upper one is less than the value less than or equal to the value of the right upper one. If yes, condition becomes true. Now, as I said earlier, uh, we are going to make use mostly of relation operators in our next lesson, part three. But uh, uh, since we are looking at the operators, it's good for you to know about these from here itself. So we are going to look at an, another example, uh, performing calculation using pseudocode. To write a program using pseudocode that will input three numbers, calculate the sum, calculate the average, and output the sum and average of those three numbers. So again, we it's broken down into five parts now. We have to firstly input three numbers. Secondly, calculate the sum. Thirdly, calculate the average. Fourth, output the sum. And lastly, output the average. So we start with the first part, which is to input the three numbers. So this is done as follows. Input num1, num2, and num3. To calculate the sum, it will be pretty much the same as earlier. Instead of adding only two numbers, we're going to add three numbers this time. So sum, arrow symbol, num1 plus num2 plus num3. Now to calculate the average, the average should be sum divided by 3. So sum, using the slash symbol for division, divided by 3. And lastly, we are going to output the sum and average. So we can uh, output both these values on a single line. Output sum, comma, average. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Leave a comment on how the channel can be improved and click on the thumbs up. Until then, see you guys next time.